Hey everybody, welcome to the Sam Lifecast. It's Friday, it's the last day of Spring Pasta Week. And I cheated a little bit for today. Why? Why'd you cheat? <laughs> well, I, Max and I were shooting some bed bath stuff mm-hmm. uh, before you got here, Lynn. Uh-huh. And the fire outside was hot and I had some sausages I had to cook, so I threw them on. It was hot. I don't think that's cheating too badly. No. We'll you got to take it. advantage of a little heat. You know what I mean? We I will. mean, we can assume people know how to put a sausage on the grill. I think so. And if they don't? Then we'll talk them through it. We'll talk they them can see it. our new upcoming video as part of the grilling series that will teach them everything. Or you can do this. Follow Lynn on uh, Twitter for his Master Chef fan. Yeah. Oh, yeah. MC for Lynn. There you go. Send all of your cooking questions to him. <laughs> <laughs> Ask Lynn how to cook a sausage. Look at you there, all proud, wearing your apron. I know. Well, uh, that was if, a proud moment, by the way. If oh, it should be a proud. Is moment. that right after? It's actually. It's, it? it's, it's, I think it's the day after we do our photo shoot and everything. So cool. yeah, it's kind of cool. cool. Well, Friday's the day that we uh, recap what went on in MasterChef on Wednesday nights because our very own Lin Chi, uh, sitting right there, is one of the contestants. Top twenty, baby. How cool is that? Oh, no, I mean we got a freaking contestant right here. We as can- Go ahead. Oh, I was saying, as of Wednesday, it's not even top 20 anymore, or top 19. It's It was top 18, 17. Wow. Six, 16. I think we're at 16 now? Right. We're at 16. Wow, already. Yeah. Right. The field's getting down there. So, I, I take notes. That's pretty this, hard. This You're might, a hardcore fan, by the way. Can you know what? I'll, I'll, I'll say this. At, I don't know, this far down my note page, Yeah. here's what I wrote. I hate that the show is two hours. It's a lot of effing typing. <laughs> because I have, to, I have to stop the, I have to stop the, the show yeah. to make notes or I'll forget what was going on. Uh-huh. Getting the finger cramps, huh? <sighs> I just want to show everybody, look at Lucky right there. <laughs> just checking out the hallway, seeing just what's going on there. down there. Hey, I don't know if you can see very well, but, but we put windows in our front door. Yeah, they, it looks... We, ha- a- we had that done today. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Vanna. I mean, it, it looks kind of weird on this camera, but it's... It's kind of a cool addition. It's it's really cool. Yeah, a lot of natural light comes in. Oh. She's here. Who's oh, here? she's here. She's oh, coming. To, Kelly she's hasn't seen it yet. She's just time. she's gonna freak out. Oh, Lucky's freaking Listen, out. Listen, here we go. Come on in. Is she there by herself? She's coming in. Hello. Okay, don't stop the show. She for loves that. the door. We, okay, we got to get going. We got big stuff uh-huh. to do today. We got to be in and out. So let's talk about Master Chef. Yes. Here's the very first thing I wrote down. Jordan looks like he's ready to cry at any moment, all the time. <laughs> <laughs> Am I right about that? Uh, Jordan is from San Diego. He's yeah. a competitor to land, obviously. No, yeah. I, you, I'm you, not you dogging get, him. I'm just yeah, saying you, he you could get, bust into tears at any second. Wait, look, before we move on, you're getting two people confused. I am? Yeah, Jordan is, Jordan's from Minneapolis. Oh. And. Well, who's the kid that. Howard. Wait it's a the second. guy from San Diego. No, Wait a he's second. talking about the guy who... I'm talking about the guy that was the captain in one of the teams last night. Oh, yeah. We're talking about two different people. I'm talking about Jordan. He's not from San Diego. Okay, Max F oh, me Oh, okay. Sorry, okay. sorry. Jordan, from wherever he is, looks like he could cry at the drop of a hat. He's, he's, a, he's a pretty serious dude. Hey, you know what? A cool little trivia thing. I, yeah. I think Jordan is the closest to me that I'll probably ever meet. Really? Yeah, he, he, he and I have very similar outlooks on food and life, so cool. it's very cool. He's a totally self-absorbed idiot. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm only kidding. That's not true. Even, not even close. I'm not even close. Okay, hold harsh. on a second. While she's here. Do you want to get to eat that? What do you think of the... No, that's for what I'm making. Yeah, you can cut a piece off. <laughs> she's a disappointment. Ask her what face. she thinks of the door. How big a piece are you taking? Jesus. Jeez, you just said that we can't do this, and then... It's chicken feta. I wonder how it is. It's a chicken feta sausage. Oh, she likes it. What do you think of your door? Is that for the sausage? What do you like more, the sausage or the door right now? No, she likes She that. doesn't care. No, Either way. <laughs> All right, enough of that. All right, back to Master. So last night they picked teams. Yes. Jordan got to captain a team. Jesse got to captain a team. We did indeed. They, they did it Red Rover style. <laughs> That's what I call it. They got to choose. Jesse went first. Jesse picked Lynn first. Jordan said, I would have picked Lynn first. Heck you gotta yeah. like that. You gotta like that. Jordan said, "Yeah, I would have picked him first. He's multi-talented." Mm. 
Can I take notes or what? Hey, that's why we picked him for this show. Oh, that's very sweet. Here's my next note. And I don't want anybody to think I'm a tool. But after hearing her say more than once, more than a couple of times that she's really pretty, I was looking at Natasha last night and I'm thinking, hmm, I don't think she's all that pretty. <laughs> and I know she lives here, right? She does. She's in She San may Diego. be here one day. And I don't, I mean, if I come face to face with her, I mean, maybe she's different in person. But I just last night, maybe because she was not making a very nice face right at the moment that I saw her or something. I'm in love with Chrissy still. I hope she makes it a long ways because I think she brings a lot of fun to that show. Chrissy is a lot of fun, actually. She's a lot of fun. Yeah, yeah. She, she, she adds some, some spice to the show. That's for sure. <laughs> and then the last person picked was Kathy. And Gordon goes like this. Oh, how do you feel picked being picked last? How do you feel being picked last? <laughs> how does anybody feel? I hated it when we were playing Red Rover and Sammy got picked last. <laughs> Freaking awful, you? Gordon. Yes. You being picked last? Well, I was popular, but I was not good physically. Oh. I was not a physically talented child. Mm. It's okay. I mean, look, depending on what it is, yeah. everybody's going to be picked last for something. Somebody's going to get picked yeah. last. So let me ask you now, Lynn. This is the third week, right? Yeah, it Are is. they always going to be two hours? You know, I don't know. In I fact, want that to stop, I, honestly. I planned uh, a little thing yesterday at a brewing company that closed at 9. So that means yeah. it would start at 8, then it would go to 9, and we'd be done. I thought that was going to be uh, You didn't even know it was two no, hours? No, I didn't. I is could it, check their TV guide wait, or something. is every man. episode two hours? Every single no, one? No, he doesn't know. Well, see, he knows it, nothing. In fact, he knew nothing about last night's being two <laughs> hours. I, I think what it is is... It's eventually going to go down to one hour because I feel like if they do two episodes a night, which it's is why be, it's two hours. It's going to be over in a couple Yeah, of it'll weeks. be over in like a few weeks. So it's like, okay, what the heck? I mean, not a few weeks. but So now that it's been on three weeks, uh -huh. now that you're seeing the way that the show is put together, because it's a very different experience on the shooting side of things. Uh, yeah. I, I mean, I, you, you know it. what you do, but you don't see how they cut it. You don't see the little uh, off-camera interviews that they're doing with people. Mm. No. You don't see that. You never. You don't get a sense of how they build it up to make one person look good or pretty or not pretty or dumb or the food's bad or whatever. Yeah. Right? Oh. How how does it feel to you now? Um, you know, it still feels surreal every time I yeah. get on the air. Anyway, so I I have friends tell me like, "Hey, you're not on the show enough. They don't show you." And look, there's still 16 competitors. It's still an hour episode. Sometimes you don't do anything. Like on the team challenge episode, we won. Right. And by the way, I got to go. By the way, yes. When you won, yes. If I didn't know you, uh -huh. I would say that guy is the biggest faking over actor I have ever seen in my life. Really? Mm -hmm. Yes. You so animated, my friend. Oh my god. Okay. And maybe it's because you're seven foot twelve that you stand out over everybody else. And when you jump up in the air for joy, you're the you're the you're the spot where my eyes go. <laughs> But is that real emotion? Sam, let me tell you something, okay? So this is our first team challenge. We had no idea what to expect. Right. Cooking we were, for little kids, by the way. We were up at the butt crack of dawn. Yeah. And we were seriously probably a little delirious from the whole day. Of the <laughs> yeah, I can imagine. Like, it's a long shoot. You think it's like the episode's, oh, they're only out there for 30 minutes cooking or, you know, oh, they're yeah. out, whatever. No. It's an entire day. <laughs> that hour that they tell you that you have or hour or something is like, you know, it's a long day. It's not an hour. It's like... 12 so when it's all said and done you finally get that relief that you know you're not going to go home because whoever wins a team challenge that's in the rules you don't go home right they can't pull a fast one on you be like oh just kidding you're gonna cook and you might go home but it i don't know it's like the biggest sense of relief and all you want to do is just hug everybody around you and like mm -hmm. you know give every little kid a high five <laughs> you were real excited my friend yeah real excited. i mean like i literally i think i went and gave every kid a high five and i was like you know i hope like like I don't get arrested for going to every kid and like asking for a high five and you know <laughs> well, like it's uh, no well high five with little kids fine going and asking little kids for a hug and a little good game on the butt that would have been inappropriate <laughs> you never know nowadays with kids man I'm just saying yeah, everything's like, like a that problem that tall guy touched me in a weird place jeez could you imagine oh god that's all right all everybody hold on one second we're gonna be right back with more master Chef. all right and we're back um I'll, let me tell you this my friend Lynn yeah. When Gordon said to the little kids, who likes chicken teriyaki? <laughs> and all the little kids went, no, nah. I knew the chicken was going to win. How? 
Come on, because that's what those shows do. Those shows intentionally take you in a different direction than they want you to go. They want to do that magician sleight of hand thing. When the magician goes like this, and he's waving his hand over here, and this one, he's putting the mouse back in his pocket. They don't want you looking here. Mm -hmm. I feel like that's their version of misdirection. They lead you down a path. They make you think that the person's food is terrible, and that the person's no good at the competition, whatever the reality competition show is. And in the end, they go, boop, they take the blanket off, and there's the mouse again, and you didn't see that coming because <laughs> they made you believe something else was going on. Yeah, I, I could agree with Who that. Who likes chicken teriyaki? Uh, and everybody at home goes, oh, what a mistake. They shouldn't have made chicken teriyaki. And then they made that big deal about the chicken, too much chicken on the pan, boiling freaking gardeners, too much chicken in the, in the flat top, not <laughs> cooking, it was steaming away. They made us believe that the chicken, not only would the little kids not like chicken, but the chicken that they were going to get was going to suck because of the way that you guys were making it. And then, Jesse, when somebody, when somebody questioned her about that, she goes, I've got Malcolm and Lynn handling the meat. Uh. <laughs> she threw you two turds under the bus <laughs> so fast. Uh. That's, That's competition. Funny. That's funny. It's, it's, you know what? Like, it, for us... The chicken was just fine. Right. I mean, and they do give some tips. Like at first, we did kind of overcrowd the chicken, but the thing is, it it that's kind of the things you have to adjust along the way. Like no one has catered for three hundred people before. I didn't no. know how to cook like no twenty pounds of chicken on a flat top. So no. once we saw it, we were taking it off. They're like, <laughs> "What are you doing?" And we're like, uh, "We're adjusting." Like, what do you think we're doing? Right. So you know, it it is sometimes, and maybe because I'm biased because I was handling the chicken, and like I didn't think we, were, me and Malcolm did bad at all i thought we did great yeah and you know they can spin that one section of it for that's what they do you know it's, a, it's intention it's intentional spinning it really is so a quick behind the scenes note so i know someone who knows someone that teaches at that school and she said the kids actually like the red team's ice cream the best and that's why we won uh yes you know what that's what you got to go with little kids think about <laughs> this it's like it's think the, about this their memories are short like like they are short <laughs> <laughs> I think you're smart if you can guarantee that the last thing they'll eat is what they're going to remember being positive. Mm, yeah. Think that, about it. That's true. Right? It, what do you remember? I remember the I remember the ice cream. Yay, the ice cream. Yay, let's win vote for the ice cream. Uh you needed a little color on that plate. The chicken plate did look a little bland. For the kids? Yes, come on. The kids don't <laughs> care about color. Are you kidding me? I cared about the color. Oh my! God. I'm saying, put a little color on the plate. That'd something. be funny if one of the kids, but was not like, freaking you know, green use... beans like the other team did. Oh, I, I told them I was like, we whatever we do, we cannot do green beans. No, kids hate green beans. Yes, right. You that was smart. That was smart I mean, of you. That was a stupid thing. They did get smart though by turning their meatballs into meat sauce. That was smart. But mind you, the meatballs looked like they were like this big. They were making them way too big for the little rats. Again, it's all about adjustments and first times. And I like suppose it you, is. It's not an easy task. People are like, oh, I would have done this. Like, okay, you're sitting on the couch. Hindsight, yeah. It's a lot easier when you're watching, but when they just throw you out in the field and you're like, okay, right. first, learn a kitchen you've never seen before. Second, cook for a bunch of people you've never seen before. And third, cook for a lot of them. Right, you know, like, exactly. It's like... No, I hear you. It's, it's, it's a lot of factors that just don't really add yeah, up. Yeah, and it's interesting. Look, I'm, I'm enjoying the show. I want more of you. Max uh, texted last night. I want more of Lynn. And maybe we'll get more of you in, in upcoming episodes. As the numbers dwindle, maybe I want to see you in that little confessional room just ragging the shit out of somebody. <laughs> that person can't cook to save their effing life. They suck so bad, and they're an asshole. I want to hear that coming out of your face. Hey, look, I was nice, but I didn't say, you know, I wasn't all, like, encouraging all the time. If, right. I called it like it was. If I thought someone was struggling, I'd say it. And, you know. Okay, I have another question. And then I got to cook. Okay. Here's my last question. When they say, so you guys went one, you all get to go upstairs. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then they tell them they have to go through whatever, whatever you called that challenge they had to go through. It's elimination challenge. Elimination challenge. Oh, no, I'm sorry. The pressure test. Is the pressure test. Team challenge, yeah. Um, they had to make cheesecake. Yeah. I've never made a cheesecake. No, that's not true. Let me think about that. I may have made a cheesecake once in my life. Uh huh. I don't know that. I might be able to make one. Do they give you a little class on how to make a cheesecake? Oh, we're not answering. 
You know, I have I might have to plead the fifth on that one, but I'll tell you this. Yeah. You're prepared when you go in there. Uh, thank you, sir. And um, because I mean, I didn't take that many people and, and assume they're all going to. I don't know. But, you know, I, I think to, to be honest, I think that question answers itself if you are a fan of MasterChef, because right. there are some times when before I got on the show, I was like, there is no way that you know how to make a chocolate lava cake. Right. From scratch. Right. Zero way. All right. Okay. You're answering my question for me. Okay. I have one more question. Uh, when, when you guys won and you were all jumping up and down, you way more than most of the people. I really enjoyed <laughs> I it. It was, it was good entertainment. Okay. Watch it back, my friend. Okay. I'll watch it back. I'll watch it back. And once again, I'm saying maybe because you're so freaking big that you just stand out, but you were super excited. Um, there was a shot of the blue team guy, one of the blue team guys, like washing a big pot. Mm -hmm. I guess maybe their pasta stuff, their sauce in. Yeah. Do you guys do the cleaning? Really? Let's put it this way. The winning team yeah. cleans absolutely nothing. Oh. They clean your stuff? Is, wait, is that because you got the winners like go off and do more like things on camera? Yeah, I mean, here's the thing. They can't keep us on set to clean. So when they clean, they're actually cleaning, but, but they don't clean everything. Right. They, yeah. they're, you're cleaning for the look of cleaning. Is I believe right? so, because I haven't lost yet, so I wouldn't know. <laughs> <laughs> well, wait a second. If you haven't lost, are you telling us you go all the way? Are no. you the master chef? He's the master chief. All right, I got to cook something. No, we wait, get wait, As of this episode, Sam, I have not lost a team challenge. All right, before we do, before <laughs> yeah. we do I want yeah, yeah. you guys to take a look at this and tell me if you see anything weird with it. <laughs> Cheap point. I actually do kind of see something. The little... Uh, I'm a little curious if that's... All the, right. The so little uh, we brass it. bell on the side. Uh, go ahead, Lynn. What do you think it looks like? Actually, Dad, what do you think it looks like first? I think it looks like a teapot with a, an eye on it. All right. Chief? Uh, I see a silhouette, actually. Do you? Yeah. <laughs> do you? Well, hold on one second. I'll just uh, flip over to this other page, and I'll uh, give you a little better look. Because J.C. Penny. Yes. Sells this kettle, and they've been having some issues recently because of that. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Do you see it now? I totally saw Are that. Are you kidding That's me? That's actually the, kind of the oh, first thing sorry. I saw. I'm sorry. You're not Can you bad. believe that? Who could, somebody complained? Oh, it was Have on a big billboard. Have they stopped selling it? They had to take down the ad. Okay, I got to cook. This is bizarre. Can you believe that? <laughs> yes. Run the thing. I got to cook. All right, well. Go. <laughs> All right, um, I have to rush. We have something. Here's what we're, we're cooking with. Look at those things. Strozza pretti. Strozza pretti. What? Strozza pretti. <laughs> Strozza pretti. I, I In they go. I'm, I, meant to, I meant to salt the water. And I'm, I'm sorry I'm rushing, but we all have something that we have to be doing very soon. So, salted water. Salted water, that'll come back to the boil. Okay, so check this out. So here's these chicken feta sausages. I mean, they look a little carcinogenic right now, but I've grilled them outside. They're gonna be delicious. And I threw on some zucchini, but I didn't have it enough time. So I'm just gonna throw them into this grill pan right now and mark them up a little bit more. We're making kind of a Mediterranean sort of little pasta-y thing. So the pasta's cooking there, the sausage is done. I got these things going. I need to make a little bit of a, a dressing to toss this in. Sort of a little Mediterranean-ish style kind of thing. So here's what we're going to do. Going to use some, uh, where am I? We olive, extra virgin olive oil because it's, oh my God, look at the color. Wow. Gorgeous. Shit, is that beautiful stuff, man. So delicious. Um, I need some, oh, I know behind you, sorry. Okay. Sorry, I have to go here. We're going to put a little red wine vinegar in it. For that tanginess? Yep. That tanginess, a little lemon. This does sound very classic Mediterranean. Doesn't it? So yeah. far, so far. A little lemon juice in here. And the first thing that came out was a seed. I thought <laughs> I was catching it properly in my hand. It's okay, dude. Now I got to do this. A seed won't hurt anybody. I hate seeds in here. There you go. I got it. Okay, good. 
Uh, let's see. I like to balance the acid with a little sugar. I always put a little bit of sugar in my salad dressing. Always. Let's That's very master chef of you to balance. Is it? Is it? Thank you. Acid with sugar. Thank you. See, I want these marks, so we'll get some more marks here. We'll just turn everybody this way. Turn that down a bit so it's not so bad. Acid, sugar, oh yes. Okay, salt, pepper. Um, I have oregano here. We'll throw a little bit of the oregano in. I am a fan of putting red pepper in a lot of things these days just because I think a tiny little bit of heat makes everything really nice. Salt, pepper, and we should probably be there. Salt. Pepper. Nice. I could have done this a little better. I should have done this in a jar or something. A squeeze bottle. So you're really just making kind of a classic vinaigrette, right? Exactly, exactly. Oh, yum. That's really good. It looks amazing. Let's see what's happening here. Turn these guys over. Oh, well, That's what I that. want, right? That's what we want. That kind of marking. Fine, fine, fine. Let's see what's happening here. Got to stir the strozza pretti. I really dig the shape. I like that. I like, it's like that. It's a big see? macaroni noodle. It is like a macaroni, but check it out because it's got like a slice down the middle. Can you see that? Yeah, so yeah. that's going to hold sauce. sauce if, if you have a sauce, a creamy sauce, whatever kind of sauce you're going to have. So the sausage now, I like to cut this way into these nice. And look at this. Is this sausage? Ladies and gentlemen, I don't know if you can tell, there's feta in this. This is chicken sausage with feta. Oh, wow. Um, just, this came from, where did this come from? This came from... Uh, pantry. The pantry. Henry's, the pantry, I, I said. No, 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 no. Oh, that was the salami we used the other day. Mm. I think this was from, uh, I think this came from Whole Foods. I was really impressed with this brand new Whole Foods that I went into the other yeah, day. You know, Whole Foods does their own, like, cured bacon and things like that they're, too, right? they're doing a really nice job i have to say and there's a brand new store bias that is just beautiful yeah it really is yes that's really good so here's the thing go out on a limb try something a little different could i have used a standard everyday italian sausage yes spicy yes mild yes whatever i didn't want to do that i want to use something like that had a little bit more pickup in the flavor so we're going to throw some parsley into this, right here. We're doing fine. We've got to hurry though, boys. I think we're making good time, dude. We're doing okay. This has been about six minutes so far, so. Okay, so let's see. So we'll get a bowl. Mm-hmm. Go here, let me drain the pasta with this. Let's even see if the pasta's ready, shall we? No, I can just tell from that it needs another. Huh, it's pretty close. Maybe another. Man. And how are these guys doing? These guys are beautiful now. That's what I wanted. Check this out. Here you go. That's why you buy a grill pan right there, ladies and gentlemen. Because Gorgeous. it does that. And who doesn't want that? Everybody wants that, right? I want that. All right, so we got this. I'm gonna give it one more thing. I just had an idea for something. You know what this is? Anchovy paste. Tomato paste. Tomato paste. I'm gonna give it one quick little shot of tomato paste just to enhance the little Mediterranean-ness of the whole thing, it's starting to come out. As soon as I toss this, screw it, we're going. It's go time. <laughs> I should take out a little bit of liquid, probably, just in case I need to cut it a bit. I won't need more than that. We'll do this. My 
timer went off. That's good. Turn this off. Excellent. I'm going to actually just do this. In here, throw a little bit of this tomato paste. And by the way, what an easy way to keep tomato paste around the house, huh? The yeah, tube, tube that you can always use. The tube form is the greatest. Tube form. So right, this will mix in a little bit. Let's put a little bit of this dressing in here right now while this is hot. Just to help what this is going to do. I wanted a bit of tomato. I didn't want a lot of tomato. Oh, I can smell it. Yeah. Oh, wow, it's good, right? Strong tomato flavor, yeah. Really strong. Okay. Turn this off. Okay, so we got the dressing. Let's throw a little bit of this in. A little bit of parsley. A little bit of parsley. <laughs> A little more of this. Yes, that's the cooking guy singing Mambo number five. Oh, is that what that was? Yes. Oh, I'm so Remember sorry that, that, that I did that. That was from when I was 10 years old, probably. I am so sorry I did that. <laughs> Pasta goes in the bowl. Oh, pretty. Talk about pretty, huh? 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 Who likes pretty? I do. Nice color. I do. I do. The zucchini will come out. Uh oh. Come on, guys. Let's do this. Zucchini. Oh, and the zucchini wow. smells great, too, boy. And you know why it smells so good? Because that char on it. The, the, the char marks. has really done a great, beautiful thing to it, right? Heat changes this, things. Heat changes things, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, wow. Boom. Wow. And here, the last, the last bit. Where did it go? Wow. Where did my. Uh, right. Wait a second. What are you looking for, dude? I'm looking for oh, my, my bowl. I just wanted this last little bit of dressing to do this with. There's wow. something about putting a little dressing on something like this when it's hot that just lets it really just sort of suck right in. It pulls all those flavors right into the noodles and the everything in there. And I'm going to do what I always do. A tiny little bit more salt over the top in this. Boom. Done. Thank you. Stop the clock. Once again, no clock, but let's have a bite. And I'm gonna try and keep this really neat for Lynn. Let me take. Wow, if you had an hour to cook like we did, yeah. you would have a lot of time on your hands right now. <laughs> <laughs> Zucchini, that, there. All the pieces in the bite. Oh shit. Mm. If I say you got to make it, you're going to think that I'm just making that up, so <laughs> I won't say it. I'll try reverse psychology. Don't make it. <laughs> it's terrible and you'll hate it. And you don't deserve to eat anything that good. <laughs> That's it. Mm -hmm. Today's Friday. Monday, new show. You'll dig. Wednesday, Tony Luke. Tony Luke from Tony Luke's in Philadelphia right here with me Say cooking in the what? kitchen. He's doing a sandwich, probably a Philly cheesesteak. I'm gonna do a version of it myself. It'll be lots of fun, it'll be a hectic day. Thanks for hanging out with us. You guys are awesome. Tell your friends, don't eat bad food. Sorry, tell your friends to watch the live cast, period, full stop, and don't eat bad food. <laughs> That's where I want to go with that. Have a good weekend.